Hey everybody, I am the Executioner, and today we are going to talk about my ideas to advance libertarianism. Now, we have a bunch of ideas that are out there in the libertarian community, hoppianism, agorism, but I want to talk about my own ideas. Now, one thing that is critical for libertarianism is to win the hearts and minds of people, the various peoples around the world. So, my idea is that libertarians should get together and try to do social welfare in a voluntary sense, uh, mutual aid, etc. So, libertarians should pull together their money and try to help the less fortunate. This is a great idea, not only because it can advance our cause, but it will help people in the long run. The one thing Marxists and leftists did have in the late 19th century, early 20th century, was the charity sense. The working unions, the working memberships, and the various people trying to support the less fortunate. Now, the rhetoric, you can debate that, and the intentions, etc., but you can't lie that that's a good tactic. I think libertarianism, uh, libertarianism is an idea that really needs this type of advocacy. The getting out there and actually getting people on our side and saying, okay, uh, as libertarians, we can help you. Africa, for example. Africa is a continent that is in utter distress. There is high amounts of poverty, there is high amounts of disease, etc., Libertarians have a prime opportunity to win the hearts and minds of the African people by forming voluntary associations like uh, Doctors Without Borders, uh, libertarians who are skilled in a particular thing like uh, medicine or uh, technology, etc. We could pull together our resources and help the African people while also spreading the ideas of liberty and freedom and free market capitalism. The United Nations, UNICEF, and all those organizations that purport to try to help the uh, less fortunate in Africa have done a dismal job. Voluntarism could provide a deep opportunity to help the less fortunate people in Africa and give ourselves a launching off point for a voluntarist community. Libertarians, for example, could help the funding of refugee camps or hospitals or uh, medicine, for example, uh, scientific industry. Libertarians could pull together their resources to invest in African businesses and kickstart a huge movement of African free market capitalism along the lines of the Chicago School or the Austrian School. It will take over the debt trap diplomacy of China, for example. Getting Africa out of that debt, getting them out of that position, and getting them towards a more industrial society is what we should be striving for as libertarians. Uh, distributing literature, for example, of the likes of Milton Friedman or Frederick Hayek or uh, David Friedman, for example, getting libertarian ideas out there. We replace the debt-ridden traps that China has provided with debt-free uh, self-reliance for Africa. A lot of the problems out there, be it uh, warlords and stuff like that, libertarians could volunteer to go fight Go fight and provide the African people with security, with strength, and encourage freedom. This goes for conflicts in the Middle East, for example, and in the Ukraine. We need to be an example and fight for freedom, fight for liberty, and fight for the everyday man. People who are in the military, people who have military experience, etc., who are libertarians, this could be a prime opportunity to help people. The thing libertarians are lacking is action. We need to act, we need to get people on our side, 
And at the end of the day, we need to help our fellow man through voluntarist means, through voluntary exchange, donation, or charity. We need to begin action to replace these failed systems of welfare in the state, etc., by getting out there and proving what libertarianism can do and what it can do for the common worker, what it can do for the less fortunate, what it can do for everyone. That is what I believe. Agorism is not going to get us to a stateless society. Hoppianism on its own is not going to get us there. What is going to get us there is proving libertarianism as a functional idea that can help everybody. We do not need a state. We do not need aggression. We do not need involuntary means to help other people. We need to prove that defense and social welfare can come through voluntary means, not the state. That is my idea, and I would like to elaborate it fervor and other videos but libertarians we have an opportunity to take pages out of the playbooks of the early marxists the early leftists and with sprinkling capitalist ideas free market ideas and voluntarism along the lines of lysander spooner and others we could create a stateless society that is not only fair voluntary, and a true free market. I hope that you guys take my words seriously and try to band together through voluntary means and try to help your fellow man. This has been The Executioner, signing off. Please subscribe and like the video.